everyone, so today we're looking at this um, 50 inch LG UHD TV. It is a uh, 2021 model, so it's a new new model. Uh, the model is 50UP80, that's how they you know um, identify their model. So that's the 50UP80 model. Uh, 50 inch TV, 4K, it comes with the quad core processor, ThinQ AI, you get a true cinema experience, and as with most modern day TVs, especially 4K TVs, you know, video games are big, it's a multi-billion dollar industry, these TVs are optimized for uh, really good gameplay. So for that, you're talking about refresh rates. So uh, we're gonna test it out and see how well this is uh, on this TV, like when it comes to, you know, fast paced video games and high, um, and, and high refresh rates. So that being said, let's just take this bad boy out of the box and let's have a, take a closer look at, uh, the physical dimensions, ports, and we're going to turn it on and just check out the uh, the menu and the whole UI experience as well. Uh, speaking of the whole UI experience, you also get the voice assistants that come with this thing. So it does have uh, Hey Google, it has Alexa built in, works with Apple AirPlay, and it also works with Apple HomeKit as well. So for those of you who like home automation and you love Apple devices, Apple HomeKit. All right, let's take another box. So before we look at the TV itself, we always look at the other accessories that come in the box. So here we have a set, I don't want to take note of the bag, but it comes with a set of AA batteries. I always say never use these, right? They're just, you know, if you just need to get instant access to your remote and you don't have time to go to the store, yeah, you can use these for a couple of days, but I recommend, you know, get, you know, a real set of alkaline batteries, but it does come with a set of AA batteries. Um, <clears throat> here we have our magic remote. Um, here we have screws for the feet that you have to install. And here, of course, is your AC power cord. Um, here we have, of course, setup instructions, nice simple diagrams, no words, just diagrams. It's very easy to follow and to show you how to install the feet and the cable management system. Speaking of cable management, um, these little pieces of plastic, don't throw them out. They're very important. They're actually LG's version of their, um, I call it complementary cable management system, right? Including this little wire, wire tie here. So I will show you how those work. And then over here we have our owner's manual. We also have a whole manual just for the remote user. Uh, so for the remote, um, sorry, uh, a whole manual for the magic remote, right? Which is this. And then here we just have uh, registration uh, documentation here and warranty, product warranty. the LG has these feet that you install and they're actually marked so you cannot like put this one on either side of the TV it's actually meant for one side only so in this case what you look for they have a B on this one right see the letter B right there and that should align with the letter B right here now the way this works there are two holes right there's a hole here and a hole in the middle I'm going to put these two screws in and what you see here you see they can unlock on the lock sign all that means is you take this foot in this orientation and you see this little thing here that sticks out that just locks into place kind of already locks into place but it stays in place so when I put it against like so and I move up it just stays in place like that of course I have to put the screws in but it just means you know it just shows you how you're supposed to like put it into the into the groove. So let me show that one more time. Just take this. And the easiest way to do it, just line this up with the hole here. Put it in like that at an angle. 
and then turn clockwise and it looks, locks into place. And that's what that little diagram means. Next, I'll take my two screws. And if you have an electric screwdriver, because I'm very lazy, you just That's it. As easy as pie. Now I go over here, and this one has the letter A, as you can see right there. The lines of the letter A, so you know you have the right foot for the right side and again in this case now just line us up and what we're gonna do here is just line this up with a hole here turn counterclockwise and it locks into place now I have to put the screws to keep it in place comes to cable management there's a couple of things a uh, couple of pieces of plastic that I call it that LG has so the first one is this this is actually designed for your um, AC power cable now this particular model TV um, you now you put your AC power cable in right and what you're supposed to do is take this assembly and what you can do right in here is where you're gonna put the cable and then what you do, actually let me hold it this way, you put the cable in this little hole here and then you pull this back and then you can lock, lock it in place right, it locks the cable in place and then to undo it you just press this lever down and it pulls this back up right and you can take the cable out so let me show you how you do that so I just put this on the cable itself like that right and then I can just press should be some space in there to hold this. Yep. And I pre open my. I believe I press this down and it, it locks in place like that. Right. Now they show you on the diagram that there is supposed to be like a hole on this side because there is this clamp at the bottom of the cable management that actually plugs into the actual chassis of the TV. I call it or the back of the TV itself. And all it does it keeps the power supply the power cable in place so if you if somebody is to yank on it for some reason this won't come out the TV uh, but in this particular model there is no hole in this side because normally what would happen is that you clamp, clamp this into the hole like that and it will stay like that so if I had to pull on this it won't risk coming out of here um, there is a hole though here right I believe that this can this could clamp in there but it would be a tight fit to be honest uh, so you can actually press that up. So you put this in here like this, push it all the way up, and then this clamp, yeah, I guess, yeah, it will go into that hole and clamp in place like that. So I'm not going to push it in because I actually plan to reuse this. Yeah, this actually will go into that hole. If I push that in, it will clip in place and it will stay there. So if I was to pull on this, it won't come out of the TV. So that's one of the cable management systems, right, that they have, which is pretty cool. So you take your simple cable management system here, this little wire tie, I call it. And it's good when you have multiple cables. Just put the cables in like that. I'm going to find the tightest fit here. So I only have two cables. Clip that in place. And there you go. So that's your simple cable management from LG. Now looking at the ports. Here we have our optical digital audio out port for your surround sound system. Now this comes with three HDMI ports. So HDMI port number three is here at the back, um, right next to a USB port. 
And here we have a RJ45 LAN port, all right, which is uh, pretty decent. And right here on the side, we have another USB uh, port. And here we have our other two HDMI. So this is HDMI port number one. This is HDMI port number two, which is also an EARC port, an ARC port. And here we have our antenna or cable in jack. Now, as far as the aesthetics, you know, it has a nice smooth back. Uh, we have a VESA mount holes as well for wall mounting. And yeah, it's a pretty decent, uh, decent looking TV for the price. So let's take a close look at the remote. It has a nice ergonomic design. Feels good to the touch, right? The back, here's your battery bay for your batteries. Pretty standard remote. So here's your standard remote. Has a nice ergonomic design. The back here is your battery bay, your batteries. And here at the top of a power button, of course, we have our numeric pad. Um, some key things here. Here we have, of course, your channel up and down. You have your mute button. Uh, you have your volume control up and down. These are all rubberized keys. You have a home button. This button with the microphone is for your voice assistant. And speaking of voice assistant, right at the top here, this little hole is where your microphone is. You would normally speak into that. Here is when you want to find out um, when you want to select your input source. So, you know, it's an HDMI 1, 2, 3, you know, whatever. And then here, this is pretty cool. This is actually a rubberized click wheel, which you can press as well. So you have two functions, right? Up and down and press. So three functions. So that rolls, right? Up and down. And that clicking sound is for pressing. And then here you have your up and down, left and right directional uh, keys as well. And then nice, nice circular design. Here we have our back button. Here's where you access your, um, I guess your, your options, um, your settings, right? Then you have your customary red, green, uh, yellow, and blue, the hotkeys. And then here is where you have your uh, pre, uh, um, I guess uh, quick link keys, I call them. So here you get access to your Netflix, Disney Plus, Prime Video, and LG channels. And these two at the bottom here are not too familiar um, what those icons mean, but I will, if I do find out, I'll put those down in the chat, but I believe. And down here we have, you know, your, um, I guess I call these your quick link keys, right? So you can get quick access to like, for example, Netflix, Disney Plus, Prime Video, LG channels, and so forth. And then at the bottom, we have our lovely little LG logo. And it has that piano black look, right? So that's your remote. Web OS, pretty nice, okay. So we're turning this TV on for the first time, so this is what you see. Okay, select installation method. The magic remote is connected successfully. So this is the magic remote, just in case you wanna know what they're talking about. So we can uh, initialize TV settings through a mobile device, or by default, we're gonna use a TV. So let's TV. use the TV method. Language and location settings. Confirm your location and language settings. Language, English, button. That's correct. Canada, button, yeah. deactivated. Time zone, select, button. Country, Canada, button, deactivated. Time yeah. zone, select, button. Vancouver, unchecked. Edmonton, unchecked. Dawson Creek, un Rainy River. Toronto, Nipigon, on Toronto, on check Toronto, button, next, button. Okay. Audio guidance is currently turned on to assist the visually impaired. Do you want to keep audio guidance turned on? Yes, so, no. So I'm no. gonna turn button. I'm gonna turn it off, but as you can see by default, which is a really nice feature, you have the audio guidance on, right? And that's really nice because you know it looks out for the you know visually impaired. So this is that's a good feature to have on by default. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to turn it off. And now we're going to set up my internet connection. So we're connected to the internet. 
And now we have access to LG's Smart TV Services. So this is where you get access to a bunch of cool stuff like streaming movies, music, games. You can browse the internet, of course. But of course, before we can enjoy all these lovely things, we do have to agree to the, pol the privacy policies and T's and C's, terms of use, end user license agreement, you name it. So let's go next. And here is where we just select uh, the ones that we agree to. I'm just going to say select all just for the purposes of this. And let's keep going. Here's where you can now connect all of your devices to this TV. Um, and you can pair them up. I'm just going to scroll next. Here's where you want to select. Do you want your satellite? Uh, IE or you know cable TV service to connect to this through the you know coax cable. Do you have a setup box um, or do you just want to use an antenna? I'm just gonna skip. Actually, I'm just gonna say antenna for now. Now sound may be optimized depending on the installation method. That's pretty cool. So I'm gonna select stand obviously. And here is where you can tune your channels and beginning watching TV. So I'm going to just exit that. And let's get right to the menu. So because I'm connected to the internet, it's going to now sign in. So it's going to recommend I sign into an LG account and I can enjoy. Uh, you can, of course, download new apps, update existing apps. You can get personalized content. Um, sorry, personalized content recommended based on your sign in account. And of course, you can control your peripheral LG devices from your TV by using the Thank You app. So, what I'm going to do is just skip this. And first use is completed. So, here's where you now can set up uh, your LG screen streaming channels. You can set up your Amazon Alexa, and you can also set up your Prime Video. So I'm just going to say skip those and say done, but that's the experience and that's where you can go and access all your stuff. And right now it should be giving me some streaming, free streaming services. Let's turn the volume down a bit. Let's give it a second. And here we have free streaming TV, compliments of LG. So let me just uh, go to the home, just press home button get here so what I like about this remote is that you can actually move the remote and there you can actually access you know move this cursor around and you can easily get access to you know the menu items through this lovely pointer action right and of course you know intuitively you're gonna press this button here to you know select something so for example if I wanted to check how to use TV features I just click on that All right, and then you can see the user guide. So now I can go here now and just you know look at getting started with LG Web Voice TV, or how to operate a TV, and all these really cool things here. So if I was to go to how to operate TV, for example, you know how to use the magic remote. You can even do speech to text on this thing. Nice. Um, how to access voice recognition using Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa. All the really good stuff is here, right? And I get, I love, and this is a feature of LG that I really love, this really point, point in action. This is really, really cool. I don't have to keep pressing the up and down button on the remote to, to access, you know, to, to navigate menus. I can just, you know, move around with a cursor like that. So if I wanted to learn how to use their magic remote, for example, I just press on here. And it gives you all the information, all the buttons, what they do, right? And then you can just scroll down here. Oh, sorry. I think I just have to. All right, scroll down and it tells you everything, right? So you have your no more, you know, wasting trees by having a piece of paper that has, you know, your um, quick start guide. You can do, do everything through the TV. Everything's electronic. All your how to's are right there. So I just press the home button on this thing to take me back to the main screen. So what I love about LG is, you know, it's a really lovely interface. 
it's you know intuitive along the bottom you see your app list right you can see your netflix lg channels prime video everything here apple tv youtube um and then i can then see if i just tilt this down right i can just automatically go to the bottom of the screen here and then just move and navigate right so you can look at your home dashboard connection guide airplay live tv uh i can you know configure my home hub that i have at home here uh, configure my media server you can get everything through and access everything through this TV which is pretty cool and now of course you have you know uh, content um, movies you know all the latest movies and whatnot pretty cool pretty standard right um, so let's um, quickly if you wanted to um, I guess expand the number of apps that you or change the apps that you have in this list you can just go here to edit app list click on that and in here it's where you can you know change the location of apps select an app move it to the desired place press ok button to remove okay and then to delete apps select the garbage button over the app you want to delete so if I was to just highlight for example Apple TV hold down the button Right, I just press it once and then I should be able to press the right, let's see left or right button. I'm gonna drag it. Oh, I just use the left and right keys on the remote and I can just move the location of the app. Right, and then I'm done, just press the button and it goes back there. But as you can see, I mean, the, you know, what I love about this is this is a very simple high level review. You saw what it was like when you turn this on for the first time. You can see where you can access your voice or um, your voice services. Uh, you could see the lovely intuitive uh, menu and how to navigate it using your, your really cool remote, LG remote with the cursor action. And, um, you know, I strongly recommend if you have an LG account, you get that set up so you can get access to free streaming services. Uh, as long as a lot of other goodies, right? Um, so that's pretty cool. So let's now just, you know, see what the actual 4K quality looks like. Let's run uh, a 4K um, demo video. And then my favorite piece, let's hook up the PlayStation and let's get some Street Fighter action and see how well this uh, TV handles fast moving sprites uh, on, on, on the screen.
So guys, I hope you enjoyed that review of the LG 50UP80 4K UHT Smart TV. So that's a lot of words. Um, but all that is me all that means is this is a really cool affordable budget 4k TV This is the 50 inch version and you know, what I really liked about this TV was the fact that this remote has a really cool smart point cursor feature Where you just point at the screen you can easily you know move your navigate your cursor around the screen a simple push button action to you know Access your content and whatnot pretty cool um, You saw by the 4k demo video Really dark, dark, slight lights, very nice color palette in the, in, the, in the 4K demo presentation. Really nice, really clean. And then as far as gameplay is concerned, you know I love my Street Fighter gaming. Fast paced, you know, action, action games. It's a really great test game for, you know, these TVs that claim to have a gaming mode. And this has a gaming mode, by the way. And, you know, when I connected the uh, PlayStation to this, it automatically detected it. It was a, uh, a game console and it optimized that HDMI port for gaming so I would assume that would have to do with stuff like you know you know the refresh rate all that great stuff make it optimized for gaming and as you can see you know I was kicking some button there in that game but it's a really really cool cool gaming experience uh, on the TV uh, so all in all you know for a budget TV of this type you saw how easy it was to get this thing set up from the beginning you set up your voice services internet connection you can access your streaming services uh, you know, access and modify your uh, your application list right your menu modifying that pretty intuitive right so I think for a budget 4k TV in 2021 and this is a 2021 model by the way um, yeah way to go LG so anyway guys I hope you enjoyed that video so till next time stay safe and happy gaming bye bye so I hope you enjoyed that last video now if you like this uh, video and you liked it I appreciate it thank you very much and if you subscribe to, to my channel I'm appreciative of that as well, so thank you very much. Um, so listen, there's going to be a lot more content coming out this year and beyond. Um, I plan to be doing quite a few different types of reviews. And I'm also starting to do giveaways now, finally. So that being said, happy gaming and stay safe. Bye-bye.